Hey guys, it's Christina here from Life According to Kay. So today I planned a little excursion up to the Phoenix Botanical Gardens, the Desert Botanical Gardens. And as you can see, I'm all decked out. I have my mini backpack. This is foldable, which is great because um, you can stuff it in its own pocket when you're not using it. And I also have my Camelback. Um, I heard some great things about the Phoenix um, Desert Botanical Gardens. If you are a nature enthusiast like I am and you live in the city, whether you live in Phoenix or you live somewhere else around the country, definitely check out your botanical gardens. Get in touch with nature. Get some ideas for your garden. Get some ideas for your patio. Anyway, I'm hoping you guys will follow along with me. This week is going to be a double feature. I'm not only showing you guys um, some awesome things in the community if you happen to live in my area, but I'm also going to be sharing some healthy snack tips and some snacks that I created on my own. So I'll show those with you guys when we come back. Um, so stay tuned for some DIY healthy snack tips and some um, healthy excursions. Let go. All right, guys, I made it to the botanical gardens and it's amazing here. I'll show you some pictures as we go along. So you'll see some in the highlight reel I show here. There are so many variations of cactuses here. It's amazing. You'll see a couple photos that I took of them, but it's really nice to see the desert has so many different varieties of cactus. So everybody communes with nature differently. When I um, go into nature, and today since I happen to be in a desert landscape um, with my trip to the botanical gardens i really just like to find a bench walk around slowly and just kind of let the nature nature sound soak in um i don't know about all of you out there so let me know in the comments but if you are in a job that requires you to be on right always attending to others or speaking or engaging sometimes it's nice to just have some time with your own thoughts and I've found that in nature and I love it. So anytime I can do that, I try to get away. Um, it's a nice time to just have you and that person talk or just not say anything at all and just soak it all in. So in the comments, let me know how you usually um, de-stress and declutter your mind. And I decided one plant I absolutely have to have in my future house is this plant. Look how tall it is. I found this really cool petal shaped wheel that shows you the different types of bees that exist and that help pollinate a lot of the flora that we see in the desert. Y'all, which type of bee do you think this is that's flying around? I don't know if I can tell. I'm gonna say this is a honeybee, but it's all over the place. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't blame it though. Look at the size of some of these flowers and the cone on them. You can hear some of the water trickling down from one of the planters here. It's absolutely amazing. A great little spot to just take a rest and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's neat. That's not neat. 